everybody in this video i want to show you how you can make a snowman on desmos 3d in the first half we're going to do the build the snowman quest and then for the second half we're going to decorate it to get to the quest there's a few ways of getting to it i will put a link to this quest in the description below if you're getting here from the Desmos 3D page, if it's your first time, you might see 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 a, see a pop-up inviting you to try out the quest. If you do, there's a button they can click here, try a quest. The other option, if you don't see this, is you go to the top right, there's, there's a help icon. You will click on this and, and the build a snowman is not far from the top. And so you click on this, and once you get here, you'll be met with two spheres. And on the bottom right, you can see what the success criteria are. So we so start with the first one here, that they want the top sphere to be smaller than the bottom, but still touching. And since the top sphere is, al is already touching z equals zero um, we just need to bring bring the height smaller and, and and the radius down such that they're the same and you can see that 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 it is still touching the bottom sphere here it just needs to be less than two you can pick any number we're going to add a third sphere that's it's going to be sitting on top of this one here, and, we'll, and also needs to be smaller. And as long as we pick a value, we need to pick a radius that's less than 1.6 in this example. This is where I get to introduce you to the sphere function. So the first point is the origin. So this is x, y, and z. Obviously, we're going to need to change the z. And we're going to give it a radius of 1. Then we should move this up. So this should be 1 plus 2 times. You can use either the radius or the height. I want to scroll my mouse wheel back to you so you can see this better. You see that this sphere is smaller, touching this one. And we want these all to be the same color. I'm going to choose blue, though you can choose everyone you like. You can choose gray if you want it to be to look more like snow. And for the final one here, they want the axis and grid to be hidden. And to do that, top right, there's a wrench. That is, that is your settings. And where this axis, you would turn this one off. And there, when you check a progress, you should see all four boxes marked off. Now we're going to start decorating the snowman. I have chosen to leave the quest to have more control over the values. Uh, you can see here that I've organized all the numbers underneath a folder here. And I've also made another folder called face. That's where we're going to put the eyes and nose and a mouth. So for the eyes, I want to use two spheres and and to do that, it, it'd be easier to hide the top one here so you can see where where your snowman's eyeballs are going. So start with the... In fact, I was going to use the equation for a sphere. But then, kind of realizing that it's a lot easier to use the... I would say easier. It's more intuitive to use the sphere function and that is to write out. So we're going to start with this height and it's going to give it a small radius. I want to make a point two times times r three and. For this tutorial, I, I don't want to spend too much time trying to um, 
trying to adjust the values. Um, but you as the user or you as the person customizing your snowman can totally do that. So for this one, I'm going to put it on, I'm going to make this the left eye. Well, our left, it's, it's right. And let's also make it minus R times three. You pull that in a little bit. And we can put it up against this one here to stand and check it. Maybe move it up a little bit more. In fact, maybe it's easier to start flowing away. I'm going to go with this value for the time being. I'm going to duplicate it, and then for the x value. Um, use mirror over um, by take a minus at the front. All right to do the nose, we're gonna use a cone and the generic equation that I want to I want to be using is h minus y the whole thing squared. is h over radius squared times x squared plus z squared and of course we need to add sliders for them and you can see that the cone that we're interested in is this back half here and and uh, and um, we also need to, of course, make the radius smaller. And also, so my strategy here is to make the radius smaller, position a segment of a cone that's um, that's desirable, and then and we're going to trim this part off up to um, up to where these two cones meet, approximately. So I'm going to round these numbers like so, and then and to translate them, I'm going to move them up to so you want to shift the y by adding in this in this example, so that will move this cone further up. And for the z, you would subtract where you deem appropriate. And so I'm going to use this value here. So this brings the cone to the exact center of the sphere. Of course, it's not going to be like that. And I believe 0 0.8 would work fairly well. And let's bring the Y up a little bit more. All right now I can see more of it. Uh, and now I now I feel somewhat good about this, and I do. I start from zero, and we're gonna end it around about. Doesn't have to be exact. It's like that. That is close enough for what we're trying to do. And for the mouth, I'm going to go with the parabola for it, and um, we're going to be looking at it from the x z view, and and so and so for that, let's make a section for the mouth here, and. Gonna be z equals x squared for starters. I want to change this to be a gray color here, and then I'm going to move this up by this value here. And of course, we need to 
bring down the height by some. And, and for the live, it's got a hard set of values. Uh, so I went with 0 0.5 is greater than y is greater than negative 0 0.5. So essentially, I'm trying to start it off by not not entirely starting at zero, but um, but it, but it is somewhat snugged into the head. And then for the for the x, I think I went minus zero point five to positive zero point five. And there we have. I mean, granted, it's not the nice looking smile, but 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 it but it but you do get the idea, and you can make your own. Uh, and then the and, and the next piece finally we're gonna make is um is its arms, and we can use a cylinder. Uh, if you want to use a cylinder, I do have a prior video that you can check out on. On how you can rotate it around, around an axis, and in your case, you might want to pick the y-axis because that'll get your cylinders pointed that way. Uh, but instead, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with go with the hyperbola since, since you can run one side in and and the other side will run out. So so this I'm gonna call it arms and and so for the hyperbola, there there are two versions of this. And I believe it's x squared plus z squared is equal to one of some kind. Oh, I know that's a circle. It's minus. And so this should be z squared minus x squared to one. And then if we solve for z, that's that gets you one square root of. One minus x squared. Keep getting this two flipped. That is an x squared, and in this case, we're going from. Let's do y is from minus point one to positive point one, and you can always oh, definitely adjust what you want your z to be. And it doesn't really matter. You could say it's maybe don't adjust the z. Yeah, four looks fine to me. Though if, if you want to go for a different look, by all means, it's your snowman. Oh, this is the one that I'm going to settle with. If you're looking for buttons, same thing as the way to the eyes. You would center the spheres and you kind of work your way down or work your way up however you like and this is this is it um this is a snowman that's that i finished with in this tutorial and i hope you found this helpful in doing whatever it is that you're trying to do if you did do leave a like, and if you want to see more videos like this, do subscribe, and um, and I've got nothing else, so so I hope to see you in the next video.